Hello everyone! Today, LEGO has officially revealed the much-anticipated Legend of Zelda The Great Deku Tree. And this is a two-in-one build. There was some speculation over whether this would be the Ocarina of Time version or the one from the Breath of the Wild. As it is, you can build whichever you prefer. This is 2,500 pieces, set number 77092. It is priced in at £260, $300, 300 euros, and although it can be pre-ordered, it will be shipping from the 1st of September. Now, just personally, I have to say that whilst I've appreciated the likes of the Mario sets, uh, I'm a big fan of the old Mario video games, the sets themselves never really did it for me. I was looking forward greatly to this. Huge fan growing up playing Legend of Zelda. The early ones, I remember Ocarina of Time particularly fondly. I have played Breath of the Wild, but actually only very little. We're talking probably a couple of hours at most, whereas the Ocarina of Time I played through on many different occasions. So when I buy this, I know which version I will be having constructed. But before we go anywhere with this video, I want you to comment down below, obviously on what you think about it, but also which you prefer, which you'll be building. Taking a step back though, and starting from the beginning, the box art does look really nice. I notice that the green is something that's been introduced over a few recent sets, and it looks good on this. I mean, the, the general black is okay. I like the fact they've at least put some light behind the build itself, but I think the color of the text works well, the little Triforce sign that they've got in there all looks pretty good. Obviously, there's a few little details throughout the main build itself. I think certainly with the Ocarina of Time, they've kind of captured it okay. There is some maneuverability to the pieces to try and capture the expression. And compared to the original leaked photos that we got of this ages ago, this certainly is a lot better. I still am a little bit hesitant though. It's a very difficult character to try and capture and I mean they haven't done a bad job of it I don't think anyway it's just still not as good as I was hoping for and also 260 pounds 300 dollars 300 euros it's a lot of money in a year that's already seen a lot of expensive sets come out and obviously even more to come I, mean, I do really like the fact that they've done both versions that is really good. Obviously, you change the foliage between the green and the pink, and also the actual pieces used to make up the expression too. I definitely don't like the one from Breath of the Wild as much. I don't know if there's too much going on. It kind of looks a bit comical to me. I'm not sure what they were going for here. I, 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 don't, I don't dislike it. I just definitely don't like this version as much. That said, whichever you choose to display, there's obviously going to be some pieces left over, which you could potentially use towards other builds. I don't think that many people are going to want to be changing this over on a frequent basis. I think most of us are just going to build the one that we prefer and it's going to stay like that. So you are going to have some spare parts, I guess. But I mean, maybe some people will like to change it round. If that's you, comment below, let me know. But overall, main impression for the Deku tree itself, I'm not disappointed. I just do think it could have been a bit better than what we've got. But I am certainly glad it's a lot better than those original leaked photos, that is for sure. It's just that price though, the price does seem high. Anyway, moving on, we do have some nice other details going on throughout, a couple of little side builds as well. Certainly for the Ocarina of Time, you've got these sort of carnivorous plants, the Deku Babas, if I recall, which you certainly need to slay before you lost part of an important heart piece. And then from Breath of the Wild, these creatures here, I'm assuming that's a Korok. They were the creatures with the leaves over their faces, if I recall. It's been a really long time since I've played this, so please do cut me a little slack on this and correct me down below in the comments if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure that's what it is though. And obviously we've got the main minifigures themselves. Link here with the Hyrule shield and of course the Master Force sword. That does look like an awesome figure. I like the fact that we've got the leg printing on there. Torso printing looks okay as well. Obviously it's just that shield and the sword that do look really good. The hair, such a classic part of the character and of course the pointy ears. I think they've done that really well. And we get Zelda 2, which is great. She really needed to be in the set. Now, the other minifigures that we get are versions of Young Link. So here, with the Ocarina of Time, and that's an interesting piece. I'm not recognizing it from this angle. Again, if somebody knows what this is, if it's an existing piece, let me know. I'm thinking that it's new. I don't recognize it from that angle. But obviously, we get him in green. And this is basically from the beginning of the game when we originally had that training shield that would break the whole time and the rusty sword. But I think it's a nice touch that we do actually get that. And obviously, him from Breath of the Wild as well when you're starting out on your quest. But 
those are the four minifigures. So basically three Links, one Zelda, that's it. I mean, I, I like the side build of Link's house. That's a nice touch. It does feel a little bit like they're trying to justify the price by putting it in, but I certainly don't begrudge having it. There are definitely fun little play details throughout this. It's just, come on, 260 pounds, $300. I just, I can't get over that. I, I do feel it's too much for this. I think it's going to put a lot of people off, um, which is a shame because I know there's loads of us that actually have been really looking forward to this. I think as far as the minifigure lineup goes, I know it probably wouldn't make sense because this is obviously the Deku tree, it's not like Hyrule Castle or anything, but I would have liked to have got a Ganondorf minifigure, simply because it doesn't look like we're ever going to get any more Legend of Zelda sets, unless they are planning to do more, which I would be very welcome to. The fact that we've got three different versions of Link in this set is making me think, well, they're not going to then do other sets. So if that is the case, it would have been nice to get Ganondorf just to have his minifigure and obviously someone for Link and Zelda to face off against. There were rumours when this uh, was originally leaked of also us getting some brick heads of Link, Zelda and possibly Ganondorf maybe in his Ganon monster form. Nothing more has come of those since though, so as much as I'd like to think they're going to happen, kind of looks like this is just going to be a standalone set. So to me it feels like a little bit of a missed opportunity. But that's just the negative side. On the plus, whilst the features aren't perhaps perfect, it is a pretty looking model. I mean, this is gonna look really good on display. It's a good size, the nice little references throughout. Obviously this isn't gonna be a play set, but at the same time, you know, it has playability. It has fun little interaction that you can obviously get more enjoyment out of. It's just that price tag that does put me off a bit. Price per piece basis, two and a half thousand pieces. On the face of it, it's about 10 and a half pence uh, in the UK, 12 cents America, Europe per piece. But of course, because this is a two in one set, not all of those pieces are being used. You're gonna have leftovers. Not a huge amount, I grant you, but still some. So if you can put those towards another build, fantastic. If you can't, obviously you then have to factor that into the price. But I'd really like to know how you all feel on this. So post in the comments. For me, I think if this could have been priced around $260 and the same in euros, and then maybe around £230, possibly £240, absolutely. I would say it was worth it. I would definitely be buying it. I'm going to buy it anyway, but this probably now isn't a day one purchase for me. Just a little bit off-putting, but at least we do have it. I have been wanting a Legend of Zelda set for a long time. Obviously, this has been talked about in the community for ages. There was speculation, then those leaked photos came out, then people were wondering if they were fake. Obviously, there was then worry that we wouldn't get anything at all. So it's confirmed, we're getting it. Thank you, Lego. Thank you, Nintendo. That is brilliant. There have been Lego Ideas submissions in the past as well for the likes of Hyrule Castle, um, which unfortunately were turned down despite achieving support. So maybe we could get something else in future. I'm just thinking that because we are getting those three versions of Link in this, perhaps they're doing that because this is gonna be just a standalone set. We won't get any more. And if that is the case, I feel that more could have been done with this. I mean, it's a time I wanna be wrong. I want there to be more. I just think that I'm probably right. Fingers crossed though, you never know. Never say never we might well get something else. I'll also look forward to building it, see if they've snuck any other Easter eggs into the set. It's nice to get the Hyrule Shield and the Master Sword, see if anything else turns up in there as well. Obviously you've got the likes of Navi the Fairy in there, you've got the Skeletar. There's lots of cool references throughout the set, so in that respect I am really pleased. Will you be buying it? Will you be waiting until you can get it as part of a deal, maybe a particular gift with purchase? Discuss in the comments down below. I really want to know your thoughts on this one. And of course, thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this, please consider liking and subscribing. That helps me out. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one.